Hello everybody and happy Easter to you all. Since it is Easter and spring is finally here, even though it doesn't really look like it today, we thought it would be the perfect time to talk about chickens. So here we have our own flock of chickens. We have Lemoyne, our rooster, along with four different hens. We have Ruth Ann over here. She is a Plymouth Rock chicken. And then we have Geraldine, the gray chicken. And we also have Bertha and Ivory, which is our silky chicken. They are located on the boardwalk and it, they will be one of the first animals you see when you first walk into the zoo. Now, as you may already know, we have acquired 12 new baby chickens. They will be making their way up here at the boardwalk where their flock will be rotating with this flock going in and out of this coop. However, that won't be happening quite yet because they still need to have some time to grow. In the meantime, you'll be able to find them in the Adventure Center where they're going under quarantine. If you don't know what quarantine is, that's a standard process that all zoos participate in whenever they acquire a new animal. Basically what they do is that they take that animal, isolate them from the rest of the animals that are currently at the zoo, and the reason they do this is to ensure that no diseases or illnesses will pass between the current animals at the zoo and the new ones. So just like the Erie Zoo, I'm sure there are people at home that acquire their own chicks are wondering, well, which ones are the males and which ones are the females? So the, one of the great things about chickens is that they are considered a sexually dimorphic species. And what that basically means is that by looking at the species, you'd be able to tell the difference between the males and the females just by simply looking at them. So they don't tend to acquire these features until they are roughly between six to eight weeks of age. Now when this happens, one of the features you can look at by looking at Lemoyne right here is his head features. So here he has what you see the red skin on top is his comb and he also has his waddle that is right below the beak. Now both males and females have this quality but the males comb and waddle tends to be a lot bigger than the females. Also if you look at his neck feathers you'll notice that they are a little bit longer, thinner, and pointier. And then by looking at his tail right here, you'll notice that his tail feathers are quite long. And then if you look over here at Ruthann, you'll notice that she still has that comb and waddle, but it's a lot smaller. And if you look at her neck feathers, they're more short and wide. And then by looking at her tail feathers, they're actually quite smaller than Lemoyne's. And in general, for roosters, their color tends to be a lot brighter and more colorful compared to the rest of the females. So when you're coming by Erie Zoo, make sure to check out the chickens, and especially the baby chicks, to see if you can start to notice the difference between the males and females as they age. In the meantime, I hope you guys have a great holiday, and thank you so much for joining us here at the Erie Zoo.